I'm quite positive Gary Austin's going to bring us up to date on the news, and he's going to do it right about now. All righty. This update is service of American Metal Roofs. Learn more at AmericanMetalRoofs.com. You'll never have to worry about the weather again with a beautiful, guaranteed American Metal Roof. And also a service of the AARP, a membership group leading positive change and delivering value to people age 50 and over through information, advocacy, and service. Well, state lawmakers and the state senate are taking this one up again, discussing new legislation that would give schools more leeway in dealing with those who bully others. This is through a state senate committee, and the full senate's going to vote on it next, a plan that would call on schools to have specific detailed policies in place. Now 45 other states have done this, and Governor Snyder says Michigan should as well. Thompsonville, not far from Traverse City. Police say a couple started a bonfire the other night. Not long after he went to sleep, she stayed up. When he woke up, he found her dead. Police now trying to figure out what could have happened to 63-year-old Patricia Henry. Morency, Lenawee County. It was last Thanksgiving. Andrew Alexander and Tanner Skelton went missing. Since their dad, John Skelton, has been charged with kidnapping. But still, no word where the trio could be. And if he knows police, say he's not talking. Now we have the youngster's grandparents saying the hunt for them should resume. In Washington, we have the Capitol's National Sanctuary Hall collection and the newest edition, a very big, spectacular bronze statue of Gerald Ford has been unveiled. Is he wearing a Michigan football outfit? <laughs> he's not. I, oh. I saw it. It's big. It's bronze. It looks sharp. No, he's wearing a suit. Oh, okay. So it's very, very political. With golf clubs? Uh, <laughs> no golf clubs. Skis? No, no skis. Oh. No, no. Lo looking like he just came out of a Senate meeting. Was Chevy Very Chase official. there at the uh, <laughs> the uh, ceremony? That I don't know. Bill Schuette was there. I know the Attorney General. We're trying yeah, to reach him this Yeah, quite morning. a few, and 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 Gerald Ford's uh, family members. They were there as oh, well. Oh right, Steve was there. Betty Ford was not there. I'm told. Yeah. His daughter was there though. All right. Yes. Yeah. 28 oh. seconds. If you have anything else. I do. When compared to other states, do you know we come in number six? When it comes to the cost of gasoline, it's true on average statewide. We are paying now 422 a gallon. And Michael Patrick, that, by the way, is the most we've ever had to pay in Michigan for a gallon of gas. Cheapest gas in the state is Traverse City, Flint, and Saginaw. Mm. Those are places we have radio stations. So congratulations, listeners. Yes. You're getting the cheapest gas in the state. It's Michael Patrick Shields.